Now, Patrice was talking about the, uh, we like to call them the Devil Rays still. The Devil Rays. Tampa Bay Rays. They just call oh, them they, the Rays. Did they, they, did they change the name for uh, yeah. religious reasons? I'm um, sure. Somebody complained or something and uh, someone buckled. And, just uh, like the Washington Bullets? Yeah. They had, they had the Washington uh, <laughs> Wizards because uh, the Bullet. Bullet no, is very, uh, makes yeah. people Deadly. nervous. Yeah. You got to love that a team called themselves the Bullets. Yeah. It probably had nothing to do with crime. Probably speed no. or something like that. Or yeah, accuracy. yeah. See, right. But it is a pretty accurate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The watch team name. Yeah. Sure. And they have to change it just to change the feel. Yeah. The DC drive bys are playing the Phillies. <laughs> <laughs> the Washington Bullets and they had the they had the cool bullet logo. They they were. I, I love that. The little the little but now it's you know the Wizards. Well, and now we got the, the Rays. The Rays are you know no so. devil. No, no, devil. no devil. You can't put any uh, Indian things in there. No woo woo. No, yeah. No woo woo like anymore. That. No warlike things. No. I didn't know woo woo was a bad thing. It is. I didn't know this uh, was a oh. bad thing. Well, uh, well, pulling your corner of your eyes apart to imitate Asians is not really a bad thing, but mm. it is a bad thing. Then they get mad, yeah. They get angry. Yeah. But, you know, uh, a lot of uh, sports teams have been named after Indians. Kind of, you know, which is uh, which is actually a, a compliment. Yeah, because it's their warlike, right? Warlike mm -hmm. fighters. You're warrior. You're out there battling. You, uh, and you want to emerge victorious. Sitting bull. Yeah. And uh, whatever the rest of them, them are. Pocahontas. Poke. No, that might Geronimo. Not be. Geronimo. Geronimo. Um. Well, the Redskins. Larry the Indian, who no one talks about. <laughs> what about Ted the Indian? I, I, the, <laughs> the dude that cries over garbage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he was the manic depressive Indian. <laughs> Nothing to do with the garbage. The really upset garbage Indian. Uh, he was Chief actually... J. Strongbow. <laughs> <laughs> and his unknown cousin, Jewel Strongbow, who was around for a couple of years. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, you're going way back. The girl on the Mazzola, yeah. the Mazzola butter thing. Yeah. The Lando Lakes oh, butter. Oh, Lando Lakes. The Lando Lakes butter sure. girl. Yeah. And if you cut that right and folded it, you can make it look like her kneecaps were her boobs. <laughs> <laughs> Which was a lot of fun when you yeah, were a little a kid. kid. Yeah. yeah. But if you're naming your team after some kind of Indian thing, you, 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 you're, you're basically saying we're strong, War. we're fighters, we're, yeah. What else do they have? They try to raise everything. So dumb. Yeah. But what, I'd like to name a team the, the, the Kentucky Escape Slaves. <laughs> the, 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 the Nat Turners. That could be a problem. <laughs> the the, the Frederick Nat Douglasses. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't get offended by it. <laughs> Can you imagine that? And, and the Harriet Tubmans are taking the field. <laughs> the Harriet Tubmans. Right. The Anne Franks are 0 7 so far. <laughs> Anthony, the new thing is just to t cut out the knees and just put them up there as boobs. Oh, is that it? No, there was a, there was I know you used to fold it, but it, now yeah. they just they're, they're lazy, so they just cut out you the cut out the knees and pop them and in pop there. them up there as uh, yeah. boobies for the Lando Lakes uh, girl. We'll put that up on ONA Radio dot com. Now the Devil Ray, well the de the Rays. You were saying, wow, how exciting. I can't wait. It's going to be the Rays and the Who Phillies. Can, how can you wait? Oh. Tampa Bay versus Philly in the Edge of world. my seat. Whew. They'll make more money. I'm helping baseball right now. They'll make more money if they put it in pay-per-view. Yeah. Other than, like you said, if they sell advertisement for the free uh, game, they'll yeah. make less money than if they sell it pay-per-view and only people in Philly and Tampa buy yeah. it. Those are the only people. Only baseball fans. Yeah. In Philly and Tampa are gonna watch this. No one cares. It's not like you know when you get the the Yankees, uh, Red Sox thing going. You know that that's a lot of Red people Sox. Watching. Anyone going is yeah. is, is much better than the Rays and Yankees. Anyone going? Sure. Or yeah. the, well, and we're gonna lose the Dodgers too. Which yeah, is a big market. That probably would have gotten and, and, some Yankee fans just to see how Tory runs. Of course, the but the Manny Boston thing. If if the oh. <laughs> the Manny Boston thing would have. Been tremendous, mm -hmm. but no one told the Devil Rays, and no one told. Did you see the thing though? The uh, Red Sox, and I, and you know I love anything racial. Of course, it makes white people look bad. But I was reading it, <laughs> and I couldn't even understand. They would, I didn't understand what they were trying to make me be, were angry or informed. <laughs> it, MSN has a thing about how the, the Red Sox are, have no white black like it's 
Is they racist or something? I don't. Wait, what are you trying to say? I don't know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> You're lost. What happened? It's the. It's Wasn't the, that about the lack of Latin players or something? No, like the that? lack of black players or something. The lack on, of on like, the Sox. Latin, they did at one point too. They did a story on Latin. Nah, it wasn't Latin because there's the, everybody on the Red Sox is Latin. They almost. did it after it's many white people in Latin. Yeah, after many Latin. There's after no the, black people. The, well, I don't think I don't think the black athlete wants to play in Boston for the most part. Oh, but they said Jimmy the Greek. Jimmy the Greek. I was just gonna say, okay, Jimmy the Greek. Why don't you enlighten us? <laughs> you see, <laughs> you see what they did back in the old days. All right, Jimmy. That was such a Jimmy take, the Greek. Uh, take statement. a bath. We don't play baseball anymore anyway for some reason. Look, I don't know what's, what's going on. What do you mean? Black people don't play baseball that much. Anymore. No? No, nah, the, the numbers are dwindling. They kind of went down and, you know, Dominicans and... and That's uh, a smart... Uh, I had a son. I'd make him play golf or baseball. You can play baseball till you're 49. Yeah. No injuries. If you get a baseball injury, you're a sissy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What'd you do? You twist an ankle? Really? What happened? Mm. You ran against the wall going for a fly ball, <laughs> stupid. The bridge of your nose hurts now. Yeah, look at these football players that are rolling around in wheelchairs. Are yeah. you see, They call football players old at 32, like, uh, what's the boy name? Uh, Tony Gonzalez from Kansas City wants to get traded. To try, and they go, well, you know, we don't know if we can get full value for him. He's 32 now. It's like, 32? 32. Do you know that's a young man? So if he retires at 35, do you? what is he? Yeah. He's a what? young, he's just a big, young, yeah, what you, old man. What are you That's doing why in your life at that point? All those guys just open up car dealerships in some <laughs> crappy little town somewhere and hope that pans out. Mm -hmm. Shakes hands with people. Hey, I'm the guy. Remember, there's pictures of him, like, on the walls of his office in the car dealership playing football. <laughs> and if you weren't training yourself to be a dude who knows how to talk, at the end of your career, yeah, yeah. you can't even get a job. No, because that's why, again, I'll go with the car dealership thing. You go to, we, we've traveled around a lot, and you go to some of these markets, and you watch TV, and you see these guys that used to be sports figures, and they're selling cars because they own the dealership now. It's like, you'll definitely score <laughs> when you come down to my car dealership. We have touchdowns and savings. Lynn Swan Ford. Just try <laughs> Lynn <laughs> Swan Ford. They're just trying their best to, to blurt something intelligible out. Like, come down. You'll be driving like I used to drive over the goal line. It's like, all right. What, what is, we need another analogy. This is Jack Tatum Chevy. We break high prices back. <laughs> oh, God. You won't be able to move if you come up. <laughs> you come on down to Jack Tatum. Oh, that's awful. Oh, oh that's awful. Oh. <laughs> oh, but some people don't, are prepared for the end of their career. Lawrence Taylor Chrysler. <laughs> come take a crack at our prices. <laughs> <laughs> We're breaking the legs of high prices. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. oh, God, I'm so happy I don't know his name so I don't get in trouble. <laughs> There's an O.J. Simpson oh, slashing the no. prices. Oh, oh well, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> uh, and Pac-Man, like, he's... Pac-Man... Oh, God, what pa a... You know Pac-Man would be, like, in deep, real trouble if he wasn't playing football. He would be. He Dude, would, he's he got. He, he got suspended. He got his suspended. Might yeah, be no, over. I know. He got suspended for beating up his bodyguard. It isn't was... even his bodyguard. Yeah, the Cowboys gave him a bodyguard to keep him out of trouble. Right. And he got in a fight with the bodyguard that's keeping him out of trouble. But the point I'm making is this guy this is, is in trouble. But this is him behaving <laughs> because he's in the NFL. If he yeah. was out on the streets, forget it. He'd be he'd be oh. uh, away for life by now. <laughs> oh, this man. is him behaving. He's insane. Uh, but uh, come on, can you, you do you dismiss it as insanity when you, you got a million dollars and you can't stop? Like if somebody, <laughs> it's the, like they're telling him, don't do. Like if somebody said, Patrice, you're gonna lose everything if you need eat another banana nut, um, mm. chocolate chip muffin. Ooh. And that, you know, to uh, to almost just like everybody else, you go, all right, I'm not gonna eat that. <laughs> what? But if you said, Patrice, you risk everything for a nice, you know, Dunkin' Donuts flatbread turkey. Mm. <laughs> if you eat another one, it's over. Yeah. And you're just like, oh. <laughs> everybody else is like, okay. So it's like, <laughs> it's like Pac-Man. Hey, look, man, don't stab nobody else. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or you're going to lose $10 million. <laughs> hey, oh. hey uh, someone wants to defend my Jimmy the Greek statement. Uh, good. Uh, James in New Hampshire, help me out here. Hey, 
Obi the Greek. I just want to give you some little support. I know uh, Tim Duncan of the Spurs actually has a clause in his contract that says he cannot be traded to Boston. There you go. Proving my wow. point. Wow. Why would he have that? Because he doesn't want to play in Boston. Th that's the old school Boston. It's, I don't dude, know. This is not the Bill Russell Boston. Which, Maybe it's the Celtics <laughs> thing, though. He may be which, hate the Celtics. Which Celtic did they pull over because he was driving a really nice car? D Brown. Was it oh. D Brown? I know all the races. <laughs> I know every. I know the racist timeline in Boston starting with. My earliest memory was me, yeah. and then um, <laughs> and then the next one was uh, uh, Charles Smith. What was D. Mm. Brown? He was on Route 9? He was on Route 9 in, in Wellesley. In Wellesley. I was, oh, I was going to say, like, What was Newton. he doing in Wellesley? Exactly. <laughs> he, he was just driving, driving through. Did he have, like, a nice Mercedes or J Jag or something? He had a really nice car. And the police, uh, the police pulled him over. Going, there's no way a black guy can have a nice and car. And Bill like Russell that. Told, called him a. Uh, he said, "Stop crying." They used to egg Bill Russell's house on a regular basis really? as he's winning championships. He, he won. He won him what? Like 15 championships. 12 and, million right, championships. Right. It, and they <laughs> egg his house and break his windows and <laughs> stole and stole his rings. Did they steal his rings? <laughs> they stole his goddamn rings. They is stole that, his rings. Is that true? Yes. Stole his championship rings oh, out of Boston. Oh, that's oh, great. Oh, my God. Am I going to scream about that November 15th when I'm up there doing that show? It's all over. Yeah. Oh, Jimmy. <laughs> Love Boston. <laughs> so, I, wait a minute. Are you doing... Wait, that's Comments Come Home that time. I'll be up there. Uh-oh. Oh. Comments Come Home is the same day. Oh, oh, is I believe so. Oh, good good job, agents uh, of mine. Uh, Wonderful. I wonder I'm not well, sold out. <laughs> <laughs> we get back to the Bill Russell thing. So he's winning championships. They're egging his house. Uh, they, he hates Boston and how do they steal that? his rings? They went in his house. Because <laughs> he lived in Wellesley. The <laughs> doors are open. They, you, it's against the law to have locks in Wellesley. <laughs> so they just walked up in his uh, house. How great is it that he's on that court with his blood and the sweat? Yep. And, and the robber's like, well, we know he's not coming home because he's winning the city he's another winning championship. In, went in there and took his <laughs> damn rings. Oh, my God. He took one of his 11 rings. <laughs> damn. His thumb ring they stole. <laughs> Those dirty, rotten sons uh, guns uh, out there. We got more on the Duncan thing. Dennis. Helping yeah, out my Jimmy the Greek thing. Go ahead, uh, Dennis. The, the reason Duncan doesn't want to play there is because Ross, because Bill Russell wasn't allowed to live in um, certain areas in White Boston. Yeah, when he was winning eleven championships for the city, and the Red Sox were the last team to have a black player like fifteen years after Jackie Robinson <laughs> integrated the game. <laughs> yeah, this is where so I grew up. Do you understand why I'm angry? Is, does it make sense? That's what's great about the Jackie Robinson thing. Like, all right, Jackie Robinson comes uh, comes around, and then. You know, then there's a, a bunch of teams like, eh, we'll give it a year or two. But give it 15 years. 15 years, Boston <laughs> waited. It's amazing. You want to be a little careful, like, I don't know, but 15 years. Like, First black player was Jim Rice. <laughs> <laughs> they, I don't get it, man. Is, is that Wait, 15 years after the last, after Jackie Robinson? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. After after wow. they broke the color barrier, that's a whole that's a whole career for somebody. Some another black yeah. dude started his career and retired before Boston. <laughs> and Boston's like, all right, I guess it's gonna be okay. And y'all call it the Bay Roof curse. It really is the we're a racist town curse. <laughs> <laughs> so, some black person put a curse on the thing until I don't know what happened. Yeah. Write it off, I guess, because uh, Manny and, and and Ortiz finally kind of. Made it. Yeah. All right. Black. Let's, uh, let's say hi to. I had, I had a good joke, but it's. No? I filtered it. <laughs> yeah. Instead of Curse of the Bambino. <laughs> ah, so, curse of the. Yeah. You know. Yeah. <laughs> Are you loud and clear? Very good. Yeah, of let's, go to, let's go to D.C., uh, home of the Baltimore Bullets. Baltimore Bullets. <laughs> well, uh, Washington neighborhood. Uh, yeah, yeah, but it used to be the Baltimore yeah. Bullets back in the day. Oh, <laughs> well, yeah, it was. Was it? Uh, Steamer, what's up? Hey, guys, good morning. Good morning. Hey, and, Patrice, this one's for you since we're doing the racial card thing. The uh, Racial card? The, I'm sorry. Could, could you not dismiss this as a card when we just was stating facts? You, do you accept You're those facts? You're just playing the race card, Did, Do you accept those facts that Bill Russell had his ring stolen in Boston, D. Brown got pulled over in Wellesley for no reason, uh, that, that the Red Sox... Didn't put a black play on the thing till 15 years after the color well, line. Well, look that up. Is that a, is that a race card? Did somebody get out of jail? What are you talking about? The race card. <laughs> Those rings. Are I, what, what are you talking about? <laughs> no, hey Patrice, I'm on your side, man. I'm. I'm, I'm side. sure you are. Go yeah. ahead. I just wanted to share with you that the uh, 
when when the Boston Braves moved to Atlanta, they were considering naming the team after the original baseball team in Atlanta, which would have been the Atlanta Crackers. Really? Yeah, but it, uh, well, <sighs> all right. Well, you know what cracker is, right? Mm-hmm. You know, I've that, heard but, things. Uh, the what? The whip crack? Yeah, the crack of the whip. Is it really though? It's absolutely. It's not saltines. N- like people think it's you're named after the white crack. No, it's it's the crack of the whip. Yeah. <laughs> We, that was the guy. We get, call a whipper. We got the story on the black player for the Red Sox. The Boston Red Sox, <laughs> this is just hilarious, I'm sorry, were the last Major League Baseball team to integrate their roster. In 1959, 12 <laughs> years after Jackie Robinson broke the league's color barrier, barrier by joining the Brooklyn Dodgers, the Red Sox brought infielder Pumpsy Green out from the minors. <laughs> Pumpsy Green? Pumpsy Green. Come to Pumpsy Green Chrysler. Because that's what was in his back. All kind of pump shotgun. Pumpsy. Big Pumpsy. They, he Pumpsy Green. Uh, oh, my God. Twelve years. That's where I grew up. Twelve years after Jackie Robinson. <laughs> that's where I grew up, man. I understand that you're two. You're, you're not so sure. Pumpsy Green. I was going to play in your city, but twelve years later? And 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 the the new Celtics... All black, all black, and yeah. and, and it, I, I like to add, sit down with a nice card carrying white person from Boston, a real one that'll have a real conversation. Ask him how yeah. he really feels about that. It was a big, it was a big parade and everything when they won. But I'd like to s- just sit down with a nice dude from a Sully, oh, from, from uh, Sally or from something, Savin yeah. Hill, and go, "What did you really feel, dude?" Not one white dude was significant, you know, on the team. Like if it really does oh. that way. Uh, yeah, I'm curious. For, I'm, I'm really, I don't know. I don't know because I can't really get a nice, only honest racial thing I can get is coming in here, get a good honest. Uh, other I bet than for that, a, a white like Celtics fan like that, it's hard. it's the Celtics, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, the Celtics. Yeah, They're, you know, it's like an Irish thing, and it's just a bunch of black guys <laughs> on the team. They probably should change the name of the team. Uh, yeah, you know. It's like they really should. That is, it's like, like glory be, glory be. I'm part of, I'm part of the Boston. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that yeah. doesn't make sense. A bunch yeah. of Irish guys running around. See, they're keeping their racism alive up there oh. because they really should change that name. Oh, uh, bl- black coach, all black. I don't know if it was a white. I think the white guy, the one white guy on the team, I think is um, he was a sin. I forgot his name. Uh, I don't but he know. was on. He wasn't even on the playoff roster. <laughs> they had, I think, Scalabrini was on there. And another dude, and they weren't even on a playoff roster, so it was all black. What about Pumpsy? <laughs> Pumpsy Green. Pum- Pumpsy. Good old Pumpsy Green. I love the fact that the first guy they get is named Pumpsy Green. Yeah. Like, they wouldn't have just held out for some guy with just, you know, I don't know, <laughs> Bob yeah. Smith. <laughs> Yo, we Pumpsy Green? He only played five seasons in the majors. <laughs> yeah. All for how, how, how did Pumpsy do? Wait, what was this? wait, the New York Mets picked him up in 63? The Mets picked up Pumpsy Green sure. for six, 17 games. He only got eight at-bats his whole time in Boston. <laughs> <laughs> his hands was full of cotton. What's up, Danny? <laughs> yeah. Um, um, <laughs> you got some Pumpsy Green info, Danny? Wait, yeah, I was just reading up a little bit. Jimmy's not too far off. They pretty much used him as like a pinch runner oh, and like God. used him as like a day-off guy. So when one like one of the other guys wanted a day, they, they would put, put in Pumpsy. Pumpsy. And they really pinched him. That's what they would do. They just, they would sit there and pinch him as he's trying him. to hit. It's a pinch hitter. <laughs> they would hit him and pinch him. Uh, they would talk about him right in front of him. Oh, you ought to see him run. We throw him on the base. He runs right around. You yeah, put your amazing. hand up for him to stop. <laughs> old Pumpsy's sitting there. <laughs> old Pumpsy. Poor Pumpsy. Can you imagine being so insignificant that you don't? No one knows who the first black player for the South. For the oh, he uh, he only had 196 <clears throat> hits in his career, and they picked up a sucky black guy. Yeah, yeah. they just did it to because they were probably getting starting to get some <laughs> civil rights pressure from who. Them. Back in uh, fifty, what was it? Nine, fifty-nine. That, I bet that's late. That it was just no civil started rights pressure. cranking. Mm, just no. started cranking. That, no, it was no like, there, yeah, there was no like uh, 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 what p- p- political correct pressure from back then. It was money pressure back then. No yeah. one like goes. Then why they pick up black pumpsy. people into the? People I have no Why would they get pumpsy? Pumpsy sucked. <laughs> Sucky <laughs> ass pumpsy. Yeah. Sucky. Pumpsy stunk. Sucky Good old Pumpsy Green. Oh, whack ass Pumpsy. Pumpsy could run. Let's say hi to Scott Big in Boston. Whoop. Scott, what's going on? How you doing? Hey, I had a friend of mine. His dad worked in the clubhouse back in the late 70s. And they segregated back then. They had George Scott, Jim Rice, Louis Tiant, 
and I'm not sure who else, but like in separate area of the clubhouse, segregated them, put like four lockers together. Come on, had those guys. Set, I swear to God, when Jim Rice was playing, come on, oh yeah, maybe they yep. just chose to like I'm hang out you. together. <clears throat> I'm telling you. That's uh, no lie. All right, I don't know if that's true. Mikey, what's going on? Fascinated with Pumpsy Green. Oh, it, it's all about Pumpsy Green. I, I am fascinated with Pumpsy, Pumpsy Green. We, I want to know everything it's about, all about Pumpsy, Pumpsy Green. Where he came from, where was sure. he born, what yeah. did he do? Yeah. You know he was born down south. Oh, yeah. No but, way he wasn't born down south. Well, what's what's Oakland, 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 California, yeah. Pumpsy. Oh no, man, that's a that's that's a that's a southern name. Oakland. There's no way he was born in Oakland. Pumpsy. What do you mean, Oakland, Missouri? Uh, yeah, Oakland. His name is Elijah. Elijah. Yeah, Pumpsy. but why How did he get Pumpsy? Yeah, we need to know everything about him. Why Pumpsy? Why meant something awful in Boston? And they <laughs> oh, that I'm when sure. he landed, and they like a. It's a nickname his mother gave him when he was a little kid. Yeah, what, but you why? His biography. How do you know this? I'm He's stunt brain. That's, that's Wikipedia. You can get anything. You know. Uh, uh, Mike, Pumpsy brain. What, what do you got, Mike? <laughs> <laughs> Mike. Yeah. Mike. What do you got, Mike? Hey, what's up? I'm uh, Mike Davis from Boston. I'm a diehard Celtics fan. Yeah. A white Irish kid. And I could not be happier that they got Kevin Garnett and Ray Allen and Paul Pierce. The last jersey I bought was uh, Larry Bird. How old are you, though? Know? <laughs> last so, jersey was Larry Bird. I was in college. Until Kevin Garnett came to the team. And I could not be happier. How old are you? I'm 30. And where are you from? From Boston. No, no, no. What part of Boston? Somerville. Uh, yeah, he could be a car carrier. This is a, I mean, it's a, a decent car, story. Car Cause carrier. Because <laughs> Somerville is near Cambridge. A, 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 lot, a lot of, you know, a mm -hmm. lot of salad eaters in Cambridge. You know, like, yeah. the, that's the intellectual more, part of open minded. town. Somerville is the, almost the... The poor, I don't know, the poor part of Cambridge sort of yeah. thing. I'm not sure I'm accepting him mm -hmm. as like, a, a, because he's a 30 year old guy from Somerville. He's not really a car carrier. Mm -hmm. I need a 40 year old white guy from Savin Hill, uh, Dorchester, or uh, <clears throat> hmm, not even Wellesley. I need a hardcore white boy from from South of Boston. Is Dorchester from South a hardcore South? Yes, yeah, Savin Hill, Do uh, Quincy. Oh. I want a Quincy guy. Sure. A, a um a Quincy guy, a Savin Hill guy, um white part of Dorchester guy. Mm -hmm. Um, would you be a welcomed neighbor in Savin Hill? I don't. I'm not well, see, this is weird thing. Savin Hill. Uh, there's parts of Dorchester. There's uh, you know, oh, you'd be open arms. There's Mattapan and Dorchester <laughs> where the black people are. Then there's the Dorchester by Quincy where the white people are. That's Savin Hill, all that area. So 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 Quincy, uh, <clears throat> maybe, maybe a little bit of uh, Peabody <laughs> where Nick DiPaolo and them are from. Like all that Route One, you know, <laughs> so, Revere, Revere. Revere. Sure. You see, I want a Revere guy. To do what? Just to, just to say, come on, man, talk to me. Be 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 incognito and just talk. A, a car carrying forty year old white guy, who who was happy to see all black do, or maybe even a fifty year old white guy wow. who was happy to see the Celtics with all black, and it, it really didn't matter. All right, we got something <clears throat> to do today, John and Marilyn. What's up? Hey, yeah, guys. You know, here in Boston, we've come a long way. We went from Pumpsy Green to Cocoa Crisp. <laughs> <laughs> was that? Yeah. Cocoa Crisp, yeah. Good old Cocoa and, Crisp. And, wow. And you, notice yeah. how, how much, you notice how much he looks like Sam? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> nice. Let's go to Casey in Virginia. Casey. Yes. Hi. Hi. Um, I just want to tell you guys, like, I'm from Redneck, Missouri, and I married a guy from Malden. And they're the most racist people I've ever met in my life. <laughs> <laughs> you would think the hits would be bad, but seriously, I go to Malden and it's crazy racism there. That's all Revere over there, Malden. What we noticed about Boston, man, they they just separate everyone very nicely. <laughs> The blacks oh, yeah. are in one area. The the Jews are in one area. Oh, we're the, surrounded. The, uh, the Blacks what? are surrounded by yeah. Greater Boston. It's it's just yep. amazing, though. The Irish are over here. Amazing. I've never seen such a segregated. We're city. in the middle, and 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 it's just some. It's just really. Yeah. Oh boy. Let's say hi to Marky Mark from Boston. Marky Mark. Hey, what's going on? Hey. Yo, so um, I just want to take notice to the fact that 
that Patrice is totally right about the Celtics, you know, the whitest team you can get here uh, in Boston uh, with a bunch of black people on the team. And I got no problem with black people, but all my friends are all fruits, and they're all like, whenever I bring the fact, I'm like, yo, we're in the Celtics, got a bunch of black guys, we even got a sign roster guy who's white. The fact that I bring that up, I'm called a racist <clears throat> in Boston? Uh, what the <laughs> heck, guys? Is, is that racist? I ain't a racist guy here. But come on, that's bull. Uh, <laughs> yes, you are. You sound very open-minded. Yeah, okay. <laughs> what, am I racist? <laughs> yeah. I'm not a racist guy over here. We got Larry in Boston. He's saying he's a car-carrying white guy. Okay. Uh, Larry, what, what part of Boston? I was born and brought up in the North End. Is that good enough? Ooh, All right. That's pretty oh. good. An Italian. Oh, boy. That's Larry. Oh, Larry. Oh, boy. He sounds like he knows uh, Whitey Bulge in them. Yeah. Oh, boy. Okay. He's, he's a car carrier. Yep. He's in the North End. I can't even, I have to go around the city because there's a toll that gets you to the airport on time. I got to be very careful yeah. and go around, all the way around yeah, yeah, to yeah, the back way to get like to Logan. <laughs> I can't even, I can't even get a good sausage over there. Yeah, listen, listen, man. I grew up in the era, era of John Havlicek, guys like that, Bill Walton. And back then, and back then, really the only, on the Celtics, back then, the only, Decent black player was Jojo White. Well, if you want to go that far back, I'm 47 years old. I'm going pretty far back. All right, all right, Jojo, right, Jojo, so, and uh, so are you happy that the Celtics have a black team? It, it, I'm not unhappy or happy. I'm happy that the Celtics have a good team of players. Color don't make no difference. Color doesn't make any difference unless you know up, it's the house next I up, door. I, up, <laughs> up, I went to Boston Latin School. All right. Mm. I grew up, I had a lot of black friends, and I know saying that now makes me a racist. Right. But, no, you know, not necessarily, but I get you. But you know what? But you know what? I was, I was, I was born, a, born a, brought up in a different era. You know, back then there was a lot less tolerance than there is now between the races. Uh, maybe tolerance. there's a lot of. Let me, ask you a, <laughs> let me ask you a quick question. When did right. when did your day of tolerance happen? Like not not the fact that the law made you tolerant, but the fact that you said, "Man, I'm tolerant now." When did that happen? I, no, no, no. I, there was a, I was never in that situation because I'm not I'm colorblind. I was never in that situation. That didn't affect me. This is personally, amazing that everyone personally. from Boston that's calling is just so progressive and yeah. open minded. Yeah, and sure. There's not one guy I'm that's not, just not, like, you know, I'm not, "Hey." I'm not, I'm not seeing that. Hey, listen, I'm not saying that. I hung around with guys from Southie, man, where where nobody of any race other than white could walk through. Never mind, not just black. Nobody of any race. I hung around with guys like that, but that just wasn't <clears> me <throat> personally. Right. All right, Larry. I mean, my, my neighborhood was like that, but that wasn't me. All right, Larry, we got to get to a couple others. The phones, everybody wants to talk about this. Uh, we got, I'm white. I will talk to Patrice. I'm from South Boston. We got Nikki. Nikki! Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? Pretty good. Yeah, I grew up in South Boston, actually an old colony, and uh, that Ooh. last guy was a real sweetheart compared to... Uh, <laughs> Wait a minute. Was you, How old are you, and did you live anywhere near D Street Projects? D Street D Street. D Street. D Street? Well, yeah, I mean, it's close. It's a couple blocks away, but um, I, I grew up there in the 80s, so it was really bad when I was around. He's, and, a, car, uh, he's a car carrier. Yeah, my father grew up there during the whole uh, busing issues and everything. Father, so. oh boy. So you, uh, Ray Flynn, my father knew Ray Flynn, <laughs> Kevin White. Oh, Jesus. All right, yeah. all right let's hear what he got to say here. Go ahead, Nikki. Yeah. I'm sure his heart changed, too. <laughs> See, the whole Celtics thing, I mean, people don't even pay attention to it anymore because it's sort of a black sport, so we don't even really pay attention to it. That's the rational, that's a real car-carrying rationalization. Yeah. This guy's a real white guy. It's like, yeah, uh, you know, that makes sense. It's Bruins and Red Sox where I'm around, so that's it, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so he, basically what he said is anywhere where white people still have hope yeah. Yeah. Uh, is the sports where white people still dominate, that's the ones they pay attention to the we, white guys. We, we, root off. The, we root for the astronauts. <laughs> <laughs> He just wrote off basketball yeah. on the whole, just the whole. It's theirs now. Sport. You're kidding, no, whatever. Dude. You gotta pick your battles. <laughs> it ain't like when Larry Bird played, and boy, he was smart. It was yeah. much smarter then. Now it's a bunch of running and jumping. All right, let's do one more. Stephen Boston, how are you? He's uh, very happy 
Uh, what are you happy about, Steve? Now I'm a little confused here. Well, I'm just very happy that Larry Bird is one of the greatest Celtics, and he's white, and Kevin McHale. I love Larry Bird's my favorite basketball player of all time, but I, it still Larry has Bird nothing to do with it. Threes all day. I love Larry Bird. Are, are you uh, you were happy when the Celtics were white? I mean, yeah. I mean, they had a time, but they're being <laughs> It's a different age now. I mean, you guys Yeah, it's Oz. It belongs to us. It's Oz. Patrice hit on something it's today. It's Oz. We... <laughs> I'm trying... Oh, that's Look, funny. Look, what is, what is Boston doing? Player. They got to get some white players <laughs> on the team, even if they sit on the bench. <laughs> what? To get people in the stands. They need a white guy hero in Boston. Hell if they're yeah. not acceptable, <laughs> if this, if you can't have just all black. If there was a white guy that came off the bench, they would have made him spectacular. <laughs> they need a white guy hero. Hasn't been one since. Oh, uh, that's really, really The good. only black guy hero they was looking for was Lynn Bias. Black Boston was ready. For Lim Bias, if he didn't die. what happened there. Yeah, yeah, if he didn't die. Yeah, let's he go. He played for what, <clears throat> Boston University? No, nah, he played for Maryland. He was a, he would have been, he, was he would have been the Jordan. He was better than Jordan in, in college, dude. Oh, really? Lim Bias was a beast. Some people say. A beast. Yep. Bill in Boston, what do you got? Hey, yeah, I just wanted to, uh, grew up in uh, East Boston. I live in Memphis. Uh oh. And, uh, I got buddies. I'm not a big basketball fan, but I got friends of mine who are fanatical about it. They won't watch the Celtics on TV. They'll listen to him on the radio. And, just <laughs> <laughs> and, change, and change Garnett's name to Bird at their, in their own mind. <laughs> Kevin Bird. Yeah, a, on radio. They you commit. sounded a lot taller on the radio. <laughs> Where's Sheriff Branson? <laughs> on radio, they can make believe they're yeah. a white team. <laughs> <laughs> they watch the, uh, the score scroll on the bottom of another channel. <laughs> <laughs> There's my white Celtic. <laughs> but they're black. I don't know they're black. I only uh, listen to him on the radio. Coach Doc Holliday. What? <laughs> Doc Rivers. <laughs> some, <laughs> some white sports center where they just change all the names to make them nice and white. Oh, God damn. Never have to hear We're not all names. Up yet. Well, Kevin Garnett oh, sounds funny, Irish. Man. That sounds like an Irish name. Oh, gosh. Well, you know, the state right, never guys. gave him that name. Mm. So. Jeez. <laughs> Uh, and know what's funny about uh, Pumpsy Green, by the way, Ant? Uh, what? The name? This is how far behind uh, the Red Sox were. Uh -huh. They went with the first black hockey player in Boston before they went with the first black baseball Did they? player. What? Yeah, what was his name? Wow. Willie, Willie Zamboni driver. <laughs> <laughs> Cleophas Zamboni. He was walking across the ice. They're like, look, we got one. <laughs> the Willie O'Ree story. <laughs> Willie O'Ree. I believe, what was it? Uh, uh... <laughs> they used to make him go lick the ice <laughs> before the game. They, they put a different letter on the front of his uniform. <laughs> <laughs> 1958, he was the first black hockey player. In Boston, had the first black hockey player. <laughs> they wow. The, they decided to get the first black hockey player before they went with the first black uh, Red Sox. Oh, that poor guy. Oh, man. Yeah. That must have been that something. That poor guy. The, the crap that must have been yelled he out from those He must have had stands. hockey blade cuts oh. all over his nose oh. and eyes. They, they probably beat him. <laughs> oh. No teeth. Because that's the only <laughs> sport you can get away with really you know, having a fight. Oh, my God. It's <laughs> part of the he sport. He must have been the toughest man oh, yeah. on planet Earth. Tougher than 10 Kimbo slices. Because he His played in a sport where you could fight. This position was puck. <laughs> We're only five minutes into the first period, and this is Willie O'Ree's fifth fight. <laughs> <laughs> and he hasn't even gotten off his own bench yet. <laughs> right. Right. Just, oh, my oh, this God. poor guy. That poor swollen man. <laughs> he Willie. spends more time in the penalty box than any other player. <laughs> uh, like, what happened? Uh, <laughs> the same penalty as the white guy got. Why do I... <laughs> uh, oh, Boston! Uh, Are you? This got to be a lie. There's no way. Where's a picture of him, Danny? That's that's true. The oh, Willie, yeah, look at him go. The Willie O'Ree story. Yes. Oh, you can't be. Yes. You can't be. Oh my God! Before we move on, we got more on Willie O'Ree, the first black hockey player. Really? From back in 1958. How much more could there be? Well, fast. Well, this is a great fact if it's true, and we need to find out. Fast Freddy writes: Willie O'Ree was the only right winger to ever wear a goalie mask during play. <laughs> I believe that it had to be true. <laughs> that was 
That They're just was... taking slap shots for his face. Yeah. Oh, my. That's when hockey was all about not wearing anything. I mean, the goalies were barely wearing masks. He had to be the toughest person <laughs> on planet Earth, man. He had to be. There's Is that no true? way they weren't hitting him. Find out about the goalie mask at Willie O'Ree. They weren't chopping at his skin with those hockey sticks.